All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. So today, the Las Vegas Raiders, a report dropped from an anonymous executive, and he believes that QB1 for this team next season will be uh, Russell Wilson. And I'm saying I'm, I'm down on my hands and knees. Please no. Please, 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 please no. The Raiders still don't have an offensive coordinator, uh, which is fine. I hope it's Cliff Kingsbury, but no matter who the OC is next season, please don't go for Russell Wilson. And that has nothing to do with Russ and his talent. I think he's still got plenty of gas left in the tank. I hate the fit. You know, I think the Raiders with Tom Telesco being the brand new spanking GM, you have Antonio Pierce as our brand new official head coach. Um, we're still trying to find the identity and form the identity. I think we're pretty much kind of forming it right now, this resilient, hard-hitting, united locker room. Um, I don't like that fit. And so the point is, yesterday, we talked about how Tom Telesco, in my opinion, is going to do a phenomenal job in the draft evaluation process and just drafting in general. You know, he's done a really good job in the 10 years that he was the GM for the Los Angeles Chargers. You know, he drafted Bosa. He drafted Justin Herbert recently. And so we're sitting here and, you know, you got a kind of mid, early, mid first round draft pick. You have an intriguing fourth round rookie in Aiden O'Connell, who we'll talk about a little bit later on but you know we're kind of talking about like bringing in another bridge qb and kind of the big question is right now is first and foremost most importantly who's offense coordinator going to be and so we've heard cliff kingsbury we've heard a bunch of different guys actually um either way it doesn't matter who the offense coordinator is in my opinion because the raiders still don't have i don't think a firm grasp of who the quarterbacks can be all that stuff's gonna be intertwined either here nor there so that's what we're gonna talk about today but before we do if you guys enjoy it be sure to hit that like button hit that sub button for daily nfl content along with a ton of raiders videos raiders fans if we're trying to get this video to 250 likes that would mean the absolute world to me so you know we've talked about captain kirk cousins i think he's gonna fit in minnesota if it ain't broke don't fix it whatever um you know a bunch of kind of like veteran qbs you or you know some of them are veterans you know ryan Tannehill. I think Ryan Tannehill, if you actually are that intrigued by Aiden O'Connell, um, I think Ryan Tannehill is a perfect kind of bridge QB uh, to have because if you're not going to take a rookie QB, especially if you're not going to take a rookie QB in the first round and you want to give Aiden O'Connell some competition, I think that's a really good route is you know signing a vet like Ryan. Uh, we talked a little bit yesterday about Justin Fields. I think the you know, it's not even so much the package. I know there are, you know, rumors about a first round pick. I don't think you would have to give up a first round pick for Justin Fields. I think it's pretty clear they're going to take a quarterback at pick number one or at least somewhere in the first round. Um, I like the idea of pairing up, you know, like Cliff Kingsbury and Justin Fields, right? Um, I don't think it's going to happen, though. You know, that that's I, I don't think that's realistic. Russell Wilson, in my opinion, just doesn't fit this team. He doesn't fit what we're trying to build. He just doesn't fit it. He's just too old. It, it's too long gone. Um, I guess it's not even an age thing. It's just more of a, like a personality kind of thing. I think it just doesn't fit. It just simply doesn't fit in my opinion. Let me know if you if you disagree with that down below. The Raiders with Aiden O'Connell. So here's the thing with Aiden. I loved what Aiden O'Connell did for me last season. And especially where he was drafted. And especially given... You go from Josh McDaniels to Antonio Pierce, a bunch of moving parts. You know, Josh Jacobs was injured. Uh, the offensive line was inconsistent. I think all things considered, Aiden O'Connell did a really good job. Uh, like, I think he actually did a really, really good job. You know, he went five and five as a starter. He took down some great teams like the Kansas City Chiefs on Christmas Day. Uh, but the more I watch a game like the Chiefs versus Raiders, I still just want a little bit more. And so I have a tweet here from Mo Moten. I um, mean, he said, you know, somebody asked, you know, if the Raiders do actually land Cliff Kingsbury, do you want to see Aiden O'Connell in that system or do you want to trade up for a rookie? And he said, trade up if possible and feasible, no matter what. When it comes to the QB, I prefer for a more aggressive means to get your guy. So what I'm sitting here thinking is, you know, once they get their offensive coordinator, I do think Tom Telesco is going to go on that route. And yesterday we talked about, you know, drafting a guy like Michael Penix. Uh, a lot of people actually really hated that. I, I'm a little, I was, a, I was actually quite surprised at that. I think Michael Penix is a very bright future in the National Football League. Neither here nor there. It's a really talented quarterback draft class, and so. I actually don't even know if Aiden O'Connell's rookie season matters anymore because 
to Tom Telesco because there's a new regime. It's a new GM and he's bringing in new ideas, new philosophies. You know, he was the GM for 10 years. He drafted Justin Herbert. So, you know, honestly, for the first time in a very long time, I actually have a really, really high confidence level with whatever, whatever he decides to do. You know, it's not going to be immediate. You know, the Raiders aren't going to be most likely a 13-14 win team next season, no matter who the quarterback's going to be. But what we saw this season was an intensity level uh, that I have not seen within the Raiders in quite some time. And I think Antonio Pierce is genuinely the perfect head coach for this team. I think he's forming this identity, you know, this hard knock defense one of the best defenses in the league once he was officially named interim head coach. And so it just has me, you know, really ecstatic about this team's future. You've got some guys that we mentioned yesterday, Josh Jacobs being a free agent. You've got Hunter Renfro, Devontae Adams. Um, I do think the offense will be shaken up quite a bit next season. But nonetheless, there's so much to be excited about. You know, Trey Tucker's speed. Finally have a tight end in Michael Mayer. I know it was a quiet rookie season, but you know the whole Raiders offense was so dysfunctional. It's hard to like truly evaluate the Raiders offensively last year because of all the turmoil Josh McDaniels went through. And I actually think uh, by this time next season, we'll be looking back at Josh's time with Vegas kind of similarly to Nathaniel Hackett's tenure in Denver. Maybe not quite as dire, not as desperate, but... It was pretty dire and it was pretty desperate. You don't see coaches get fired uh, that early in the regular season quite so often. So, you know, my point is whatever Tom Telesco decides, I feel very confident with it, whether that's going to be Aiden O'Connell, whether that's going to be Aiden O'Connell and a rookie first round QB, whether that's going to be AOC and a guy like Ryan Tannehill battling it out in camp. I think the Raiders future is as bright as it's been in quite some time. This defense, guys, is that legit. I still have Max Crosby. I've got intriguing players all over the defense. Young, middle-aged, it's not that old. It's relatively cheap. The Raiders have over $40 million in cap space for this free agency run. I just think it's a really good time to be a Raiders fan right now. So as far as offensive coordinators go, I'm actually relatively surprised that they don't have their guy quite yet. Uh, there have been a couple of rumors, or not rumors, a couple of uh, interviews. You know, Mike Sullivan. I think Mike Sullivan actually would be uh, relatively intriguing. He was kind of the, he wasn't officially the offensive coordinator last year uh, for Pittsburgh once Matt Canada got fired. But, you know, their offense improved once he started calling plays from going from 16 points per game to 22 points per game. And we also saw third string quarterback Mason Rudolph start the final three games. He went three and oh, he had three touchdowns. He had zero interceptions, a 74% passer rating or sorry, completion percentage. Like I, he kind of killed it with a third string quarterback. So first and foremost, got to get the offensive coordinator and then we'll go from there. Um, that's it. I know a lot to unpack, but I want to hear you guys' opinions and your comments down below. So as always, hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. But most importantly, especially my Raiders fans, what are you doing with OC and what are you doing with QB next season? Peace.